Did you know that Facebook owner Meta has created what it says is the most potent AI voice generator yet, but is holding back from releasing it to the public? Yes, Meta has come up with a powerful generative AI speech tool, and the company claims that it goes beyond what it was specifically trained to accomplish. So, what is this breakthrough technology and why is Meta not releasing this tool to the public? Meta is a big name in the field of artificial intelligence. Even though its coveted project Metaverse is struggling, the company has come up with several AI tools in the field of generative AI. Meta has recently launched Llama 2, an open-source large language model, which is now free and available for research and commercial use. What is that too powerful to be released AI tool rolled up in their sleeves? Why is Meta hiding it? The new tool, termed Voicebox, can be configured to generate outputs in various aesthetics and brand new voices from both scratch and from samples. It claims that it is a significant improvement over earlier speech systems that needed particular training for each task. Instead, raw audio and a transcription can be provided to Voicebox and utilized to edit an audio sample. Penelope Porcupine and Sammy Sloth danced gracefully in the treetops. Penelope Porcupine and Sammy Sloth danced gracefully in the treetops. It can produce words up to 20 times faster than competitor Vali and with an error rate of 5.9% as opposed to Vali's 1.9%. According to Meta, it was created using a new model it dubbed flow matching as its base. As a result, the system can learn from speech that has not been carefully categorized and be trained on an increasing variety of data. The company claimed there were potential risks of misuse, hence it was delaying making public the voice box model or code available to the general public. So, what are the so-called potential risks of misuse? Well, Meta's Voicebox is ready-made for deepfake. Voicebox, according to Meta, can do speech-generating jobs it was not particularly trained on, in contrast to earlier voice generator platforms. Before Voicebox, generative AI for speech required specific training for each task using carefully prepared training data, Meta AI said. Voicebox uses a new learning approach just from raw audio and an accompanying transcription. According to Meta, the tool can be used to produce more natural-sounding video game character dialogue or to improve discussions across languages using tech tools. Voicebox appears to be a quicker and more cost-effective technique to produce a deepfake conversation that sounds like someone, perhaps a prominent figure or celebrity, said something they didn't say. What is deepfake? I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Deepfake videos use a form of artificial intelligence called deep learning, which uses multiple layers of processing to get sophisticated features from data. Often acknowledged as the 21st century's answer to Photoshop, Deepfake makes use of deep learning technology to create fake bytes, images, and videos of events and people. So how's it done? It takes just a few steps to make a face swap video. With an AI algorithm called an encoder, you run thousands of face shots of two different people and the encoder finds and learns similarities between the two faces and reduces them to their common features, compressing the image in the process. Another AI algorithm, a decoder, recovers the faces from the compressed image and since the faces are different, one decoder is trained to recover the first person's face and another decoder to recover the second person's face. To perform the face swap, you just have to feed encoded images to the wrong decoder, which means that a compressed image of a person's face is fed into the decoder, which is learnt on person B. Thus, the decoder reconstructs the face of person B with the expressions and orientations of face A. And to make the video convincing, this process should be repeated in every frame. Audios can be deepfaked too. For instance, they could have me say things like, I don't know, Killmonger was right, or uh, Ben Carson is in the sunken place, or how about this, simply, President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Deepfaked audio messages have been widely used to spread false information and financial scams. Deepfake technology has several benefits, like restoring people's voices when they lose them to disease or enlivening galleries and museums. 
The entertainment industry also is benefited from this as dubbing foreign films will be easier. At the same time, deepfake is a double-edged sword. Its misuse by fraudsters and antisocial elements raises concern. Many tech firms have joined hands to kick off the deepfake detection challenge backed by Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook, and include research teams around the globe. The synthesized voices and videos of individuals using deepfake can spread fake news, launch cyber attacks, and destroy reputations. Fortunately, technology to detect deepfake is also improving. There is a set of simple to complex methods by which deepfake can be detected. Audio deepfakes can be identified by choppy sentences, speakers' unusual choice of words and strange inflection and tone. Though it may represent a step forward in AI research, Meta AI acknowledged the danger of abuse and stated that it has created classifiers that can tell voice box creations from people. In its blog post, Meta emphasized the necessity of transparency in AI development and underlined the importance of being transparent with the academic community. According to Meta, Voicebox was trained using 50,000 hours of speech and transcripts from English, French, Spanish, German, Polish, and Portuguese public domain audiobooks. After being trained, it can now be given an audio recording and fill in the speech using the surrounding context, according to Meta. That may be used, for example, to produce a realistic sounding voice from just two seconds of conversation. It might also be helpful in more technical contexts, like audio editing, where it could be used, for example, to replace words that weren't correctly recorded. What are the steps involved in Voicebox? It can match the style and generate text to speech from just two seconds of audio. Additionally, it can be used to modify the voices of your virtual assistants. Voicebox can create a reading of the text in that language using a speech sample and a portion of text. When people speak various languages, they could use this to communicate. We see by this example that, admirable as is the progress accomplished in certain regions of physics, there still exist many over-neglected regions which remain in painful darkness. Ils veulent les monter et s'en servir. Ne les gâtent-ils pas? Fixing misspelt words without having to re-record the full speech or editing sections of audio recordings interrupted by noise. We have seen that Voicebox has many advantages. Is it right to withhold a powerful tool that has tremendous possibilities? What is a solution for this? Meta said in a report published on its website about how it had created a highly effective system that could tell the difference between real speech and audio that had been produced using Voicebox. What do you think of Meta's voice box? Is it the right time to release this AI tool? Comment your thoughts below. Thanks for watching.